Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy and today I will be telling you all about Louis Vuitton employee discounts, perks, and other benefits. I recently revealed on my channel that I used to work for Louis Vuitton for many years at multiple locations across several different states. And I disclose this information because I reviewed a book called A Beginner's Guide to Louis Vuitton, where I used my knowledge and expertise working for Louis Vuitton to point out a lot of the mistakes and inaccuracies that were in the book. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I recommend checking it out. That video has become one of my most watched on my channel and I inadvertently started a series where I plan to talk about all the behind the scenes information about working for Louis Vuitton, including customer shenanigans, um, some wild customer stories. My last video was about the most disgusting bag a customer took in for repair. And so I plan to talk more about some crazy customer stories, celebrity customers, rude customers, and also some professional information and advice. If you're interested in applying to Louis Vuitton or any other luxury retailer, um, I'll go through the hiring process, tips for interviewing, and how to land a job at the company. And for everyone, I'll offer some shopping tips, how to build a relationship with your client advisor, and the perks of becoming a VIC. So if you're interested in hearing anything about that, then definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to watch my next video. Now I posted a poll in my Instagram asking what you guys wanted to hear next, and the overwhelming response was employee perks and benefits. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I recommend you also follow me on there. It's at a heated mess. We have a ton that never goes on sale, and I'll talk more about it when I get into the video. But because there are no sales, it's hard to find kind of good deals, except from trusted resellers. So whenever I find a great deal, on luxury items or any kind of shopping deal, I'll post it on my Instagram. So definitely follow me on there. I'll also post polls so that you can let me know what you guys wanna hear next in this series. That when you work for Louis Vuitton, and I didn't know this until I started, they provide your uniform for you. And not only do they provide your uniform, but they also dry clean it, <laughs> which is like the coolest thing. And since then, no other employer I've ever worked for has ever done this. So I used to actually roll into work wearing sweatpants and then change, then I would just leave my dirty clothes there for the dry cleaner to pick up. As part of the uniform, you also get a bag. This is a belt bag. It was just the coolest thing. It still has my name on there, Cindy. <laughs> you wear this around your waist at work. And then I would wear this going out. I was in college at the time, so you know when I would go out and wanted to be hands-free, I would loop the belt you know, around my jeans and then loop this through. And so I would have my hands free. And this was back when cell phones were really small. They, that was when the Razer phone was popular. So it fit in here really nicely. This is discontinued. And I think now they use the Palos uh, crossbody bag, but this was all part of the uniform. Now another fun bonus is as an incentive to sales associates. Sometimes the managers would run a contest. The employee with the highest sales would win a prize. So one morning at our morning meeting, our manager said, okay, the first sales associate to reach $10,000 in sales today will win a pochette accessory. And I was like, yes, I am going to win that. <laughs> I am very competitive. I love gifts with purchases. Um, I just love incentives. So I was determined to win it. And I just hit the ground, man. I was pushing things. I was like, I want to win this bag. And I won, yay. It wasn't a pochette accessory. It actually was a pouch that comes in a bucket bag. So just as a reference, this is my bucket GM. I think they had a bucket PM that was returned as defective. The manager was able to gift it to one of the employees as a prize um, for winning this contest. And so I won it. So this is actually, again, the pouch for my GM. The item that I won was a smaller pouch and I actually gifted that to my mom. And so she still uses it. She loves it. She uses it as a wallet. But I thought that was so cool that they would uh, have these, you know, prizes. Now, occasionally we would be gifted items from the corporate headquarters. To celebrate the 150th anniversary, Louis Vuitton gifted every single employee this little mini agenda and it's so cute it's a perfect size card case it's a little too small for me to use on his agenda but it is an agenda it has the little loop there it's even marked 150 years 1854 2004 these are really limited edition because at least this in particular wasn't made to be sold to customers this was just a great gift and it's too small for me to use as an agenda but this makes a great card case so I still use this and it's really cute because other LV employees, when they see me pull this out, they're like, oh, were you an employee? <laughs> so yeah, I was. Now, another fun benefit that some people may not know is the company would send employees out to the Louis Vuitton facilities as part of their education and training and also as kind of a reward. And this was before the Texas facility existed. But at the time, if you saw an item that was made in the USA, it was made in San Dimas, California. That was the only Louis Vuitton facility in America was in San Dimas, California. Items are still sent there for repair. So Louis Vuitton would send employees out to the facility. They would tour the facility. They'd watch the kind of artisans creating the bags and also watch the repair process. Then they would be treated to you know a nice dinner and whatever and it was just it was a really fun hands-on kind of a training probably the best trip was to paris so louis vuitton would send 
its top sellers to Paris to receive an award. They would also send employees out there to view, to tour the facilities in Paris, similarly watch the artisans handcraft these bags, and then they would be treated to a wonderful dinner with the CEO. We were always so excited whenever someone from our boutique was chosen to go visit these places. Unfortunately, because I worked part-time for the majority of my time, I was not um, eligible because it was only for full-time employees. I was going to college at the time, but it was always so exciting when someone from our team was able to go. Another perk to working for Louis Vuitton is that because LVMH is an umbrella company that owns many other luxury designers, we were able to participate in sales for those brands. For example, whenever there was a Dior sale, we would be invited to shop the Dior employee sale. You could actually go into the store, you know, you tell them, hey, I'm a Louis Vuitton employee, I was invited to your to shop your employee sale, and they'd point you to the merchandise and you could pick out um, whatever was on sale. They also had a website set up for Louis Vuitton employees to shop. So you would be given your login ID and, you know, credentials and a password. You'd log in and then you see the merchandise. And it's very similar to shopping any, you know, retail website. The biggest perk I'd say of being able to shop other brands is that and I don't know if they still do this because now it's kind of different the way it's organized, but I was able to shop the Chanel employee sale. I think for my specific situation, I was able to do that because I worked at one point at a boutique that was within a department store. That same department store also had a Chanel boutique. So all the employees for the Louis Vuitton boutique within the department store were able to go and shop the inventory that was on sale for Chanel employees. And that's actually where I purchased my first Chanel bag. It was the black Rue Cambone bag with the big white CCs on the side and the hot pink interior. And I don't remember what it retailed for, but because I was able to shop the Chanel employee sale, I got it for something like $600, which was so crazy for a brand new bag from the boutique. Whenever I tell anyone I work for Louis Vuitton, their first question is, what was your discount? And it was a significant discount, but the way it works varies. If I wanted to purchase a brand new item in the boutique that I worked at, I would get 30% off that item. Well, you probably think, okay, 30% isn't that much, and it's not that much, especially on these bags. The majority of employee sales came from the RTV system. RTV stands for return to vendor. And these are bags that are too damaged or has any kind of imperfection that makes it so that it's in unsaleable condition. Whenever an item is sold to a customer, it has to be perfect. Because Louis Vuitton does not discount any items and because Louis Vuitton never goes on sale to customers, the items that are sold to customers have to be in perfect saleable condition, meaning that there can't be any imperfections, any marks, any blemishes. The color of the vachetta has to be consistent. There can't be any little nicks or scratches. If a bag is damaged out, these items are then sent to the San Dimas facility in California and it put, it's put in what's called the RTV system. Just like any boutique, where you can view the inventory of um, a specific SKU, you can see what's available in the RTV system. And those are eligible to be purchased by a Louis Vuitton employee. So the way it works is you have a list, it's kind of like your wish list of what you want to purchase. And you know, you kind of have an idea of whether you'll end up being able to purchase it based on how many items are in the system. So it almost was like a charge send form. You would have your kind of your wish list of what you want to purchase, the SKU, the color, you put your credit your credit card information and you either would get it or you, you wouldn't. <laughs> and then you would be charged and they would they would ship it to your uh, boutique. So for items that are hard to get or were really in demand, you know, other employees would want it and you might not get it. And then on the other hand, there were some items that they were they were constantly, constantly just in the system as having so many damages. For example, anything with all vachetta on the bottom, like my Cabas Mezzo or an Alma, because those are easily damaged from a store display, those would be sent to RTV. Bags that were in the windows, the sun from the window would tan the leather unevenly, and so that would also be sent to RTV. And then sometimes, because items are damaged even before they hit the floor, I'll talk more about the logistics of the store and the positions that I worked. I was a sales associate, but at one point I was the acting kind of stockroom supervisor, and you know, I was training new employees on how to process incoming shipments and, and getting them ready to be put out on the floor. One of the employees used scissors to cut the plastic that the bag was wrapped in and she totally sliced through the leather. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> an RTV. <laughs> so obviously, you know, you try not to do that on purpose because it's, it's, a, it's a blemish on the store if you're constantly getting damaged items. But yeah, that automatically went to RTV. If a bag is severely damaged, they will repair it at the facility, but then it won't be available to sell to a customer They'll fix it and then it'll be put in RTV for employee purchase. 
So yeah, so that's where the majority of our stuff came from was from our TV. I rarely use the 30% off, you know, if I had to get a Christmas gift or something for someone, then I would do that. 70% off our TV, you were not permitted to purchase gifts for family and friends. The RTV discount was specifically for the employee. You could purchase gifts at the 30% off but not at 70s. And there was also a limit to what you could purchase from the RTV system. At the time, the, the cap was $2,000, which is kind of crazy now considering bags are routinely just $2,000. So I wouldn't be surprised if they doubled that um, maximum spend to $4,000 or even $5,000 for employee sales. Um, in one calendar year, but you were capped out at $2,000 for the year. Now the biggest discount, however, was with ready to wear and shoes. Because that stuff is seasonal and so whenever the season's over, they have to get rid of the old stuff and make way for the new stuff. Because there are no seasonal sales for customers, all that stuff gets marked down for employees to purchase. Ready to wear didn't have an across the board markdown, but it was at least 50% to maybe 75% off ready to wear. Um, shoes, however, were, uh, that was a great deal. So for shoes, we would get 85% off. When the season is over, they would, you know, have a section of whichever shoes were on sale, You would, and you would go down to the stock room, uh, mark whichever shoes you wanted, and those were 85% off. Now, even with the 85% off shoes, they sometimes still didn't manage to clear it out. And what would end up happening then is they would be sent to certain locations, basically near the flagships, and it would be almost like a fire sale. You would be invited, they would have the sale open up to employees. You go in and they check to make sure that you're a Louis Vuitton employee, and you go and it's like tables and tables and tables of shoes, of every size and style. And okay, get ready, because all those shoes were marked down to $49. Everything was $49. It was insane, I got so many shoes. And the best part of that sale I remember was you were able to invite a friend so I invited one of my friends from college and you know, at that point you can purchase it for family and friends. So we both went in and she was just like, oh my God, <laughs> she was able to purchase shoes for herself, for her brothers, for her dad. So Dina, if you're watching, I hope you are still enjoying the shoes that you were able to get using my discount and I hope your family is still enjoying it. Yeah, that was a, whew, that was a great sale, $49. I mean, it was crazy. So yeah, it's kind of like a Barney's Warehouse sale where you know you go in and everyone's like, ah, it was amazing. Like we walked out with just bags and bags of shoes. <laughs> it was just massive. Yeah, the seasonal merchandise was definitely super, super deeply discounted for LV employees. That was probably one of the biggest perks I would say, was being able to shop at clearance prices for seasonal ready to wear and shoes. That's an overview of all the Louis Vuitton employee discounts and perks. There may be some I'm missing, so if I, if I can remember any others, I definitely will post a follow-up video. But yeah, it was great. There were a lot of perks to working for Louis Vuitton beyond even the discount. So if you're interested in this series and want to know more about what it's like to work behind the scenes at Louis Vuitton, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell and um, let me know on Instagram what you're interested in hearing about next. I, I have so many stories and so I plan to share them all with you. So I hope you enjoyed this overview talking about Louis Vuitton perks and benefits and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.